we got a whole bunch of shit to talk about, y'all. Let's get into it. All right, so yesterday, QB did a live. And the live was titled, The Feeling is Mutual, Sis. If you have not seen it, please go check it out. It is imperative. It's a lot going on in there. Not necessarily what QB was saying, but it's what's going down in the chat that you need to pay attention to. Okay? So basically, QB is talking shit, as usual, doing what he does. And he's going in about ZT and the whole panel and how ZT was disrespectful, out of line. He's never going to be on there. Just going in and going off. Meanwhile, ZT is watching the whole damn entire time. And he decides to come out the damn bushes and go in. So the two of them are going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Things got interesting. <laughs> so, you know how you reference someone else to make a point that's kind of what QB did and he basically referenced to ZT go do something for your zaddy you know go 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 please him go impress him go do this for him don't come over here with all of that and some of y'all probably knew this already I'm one of the ones who did not know that ZT looks up to James Caldwell you know so QB referenced him to kind of make a point to ZT like you go over there you do that you know and out of nowhere James comes up in the chat and this is what he says QB argue with ZT stop putting my name in it you're being disrespectful and throwing shade at me I don't like it so immediately when QB sees this he responds and he's like no James I'm not being disrespectful to you I'm talking to ZT I'm talking about ZT this is not something that has anything to do with you. I'm not trying to pull you in the middle. I was just using you as an example, as a reference, as a read. You know what I'm saying? But James being James, he found it offensive, you know. And I thought about it long and hard because I was like, you know, but like some people will just be going off just to go off or they've been waiting to go off and wanting an excuse to go off and read you and this might have been that moment I was kind of feeling like that but at the same time too it is messy you know it's messy either way you look at it because it's like saying okay look I know you're talking shit to him and I know you're talking about him or whatever whatever but when I say I want no parts of it I mean I want no parts of it don't reference me, don't use my name, you know, whatever, whatever. So I'm still looking at that part a little weird because it was shade, flat out, you know. And I'm not saying that it was shade on both ends because I don't think, honestly, that QB meant any harm by mentioning James's name. It was just the fact that it was the moment, I was in the moment, and I was reading him, your name came up. I didn't mean to get you caught in the crossfire, but it is what it is. You know, I think it was innocent, but at the same time, mm, you know. But anyway, Wiley is also in the chat the whole time. So he's throwing his shade towards Jay Wilson. So he's like, well, where's Jay Wilson? He should be telling ZT to stop. Like, who bought the swing for QB? Because he's in the chat and he's going off and he's swinging, but he by himself. Why is he by himself? You know, Rebel was in there trying to hold his own or whatever or throwing his little shit in there. But, you know, it wasn't really effective. I'm just saying. So everybody was wondering why Jay Wilson didn't jump out there to say something, to mediate or to do whatever it is that he do. <sighs> A whole damn mess. So look, as you can see here. Jay Wilson really didn't have much to say about it or much input, and neither did James. And honestly, I don't blame them because they don't have an issue with ZT. It's like, if I'm not beefing with you or I don't have a problem with you, why would I get on here swinging on you for someone else? This is QB's panel. This is QB's mouth. This is what he decided to come on and talk about. And ZT just happened to be in the bushes. That is a risk you take. Nobody blocked him. He's able to come in and say what the fuck he wants to say. And he did. And that's what happened. You know, and I don't think it was the responsibility of anyone else to go swinging, you know. And I understand why Wiley kept, you know, poking and was like, yeah, go ahead. Get Jay Wilson, get in there. Swing for him. Help him. You know, he, he getting drugged. Help him. Pick him up. <laughs> he was doing the Wiley. And Jay Wilson, he knew what was going on. He was happy. He was like, okay, mm -hmm, child, I see you, but I don't see you. 
you know, so I get it. I get it. But it was just really interesting to see how many people expected them to swing. After the fact, and after a couple of more reads, and a couple of more drags, and all of this and all of that, QB goes off. James comes on. These are some of the comments that people left in the comment section. And I'm so glad that he did come on because it gave me a chance to hear some shit and make me think about something that I had totally forgotten about. While ZT and QB are going head to head, we got Rick Reed that's been wanting to smoke from both of these niggas and trying to get it for quite a while now and can't get it. Meanwhile, they're giving it to each other. You see what I'm saying? So while y'all sitting up here doing all of this, what happened to him? What happened to him? Now hold on to that thought, y'all. Hold on to that Rick Reed thought. Someone named Tink Tink comes in the comments and basically says, I get tired of the women going head to head and toe to toe with each other in this sector. It's usually the women versus the women or the women versus the men. So it was nice to see man versus man for a change instead of man versus woman. And I was so glad to hear her say this, not because I agree with her, but because I don't. And she got red. While you're sitting up here saying, and everybody says this, I always see the gay men coming for the women. Don't nobody go head to head and toe to toe with no other man in here. They always doing it with the women versus the men. And the women be getting abused. But like James said, how are you being abused when you're causing the abuse? Now, James and I have gone through our little shit and had our little issues, yes. But this is something that I totally agree on and not to get off topic or anything but it reminds me of when you're dealing with your children and you tell your son or your nephews or whatever male you have in your family or in your life and they're a child and you tell them you don't want to hit girls back boys don't hit girls you don't hit the girls you know but what if the girl is fucking with them what if she's causing the abuse what if she's the one continuously continually starting shit what does he do then? You see what I'm saying? And furthermore, it was nice to see man versus man. It's not nice to see anybody versus anybody. You know what I mean? So that was really weird. It was really weird. And I'm glad that he kind of like stopped her on that, you know, because you could tell that she kind of fucked up and was trying to backpedal and pussy pop. You know, I was just saying it's nice to see the men fighting each other and fucking each other up and disagreeing and having a bunch of bullshit going on. No, it's not. That ain't cute. You know, but anyway, like I said, hold on to that thought because I wanted to go back to the Rick Reed thing. So after all this goes down, Rick comes on. Rick comes on and mind you I don't know what happened to Rick the other day because he said he was going to come on and you know tell part one and two of why he was leaving the sector and everything and kind of break shit down pull some more receipts whatever it is that he wanted to do but he got sidetracked I guess because ZT came back and that is the one that he has been waiting for and wanting this smoke from for so damn long so damn long and you mean to tell me after I dismiss myself from this shit and say that I'm moving the fuck on and I'm done with it because I'm too real for this shit and I can't do it you want to come back oh no 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 no, 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 no. I ain't going nowhere not yet I ain't going nowhere I'm here for you what we doing <laughs> what we doing so Rick goes on Rick goes off he comes for his DT, and my guess is he's still sitting in the cut, waiting for that response. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something. If y'all are new, or y'all weren't subscribed to him before, or you just plain old fucking forgot, when ZT put up something, your ass better go watch it as soon as possible, because 99.9 .9 times out of the time, he is going to delete the damn video. He's going to delete the upload. He's going to delete the live. It's not going to stay up there for long. I just went back to look for some of his shit. And it was fucking gone. <laughs> it was gone. So when he puts up something, try to go see it. But the other day when he did his live, his comeback live or whatever, um, a lot of people peep out the fact that he gave a shout out to 5Abe. 
Now, before ZT left, he had a lot to say about 5A and what none of that shit nice, you know. So they thought it was really ironic that he was giving kudos and giving her her tents. But meanwhile, a few months back, you ain't have it for her, you know. So um, Nicole Tyler also did, I think, a upload about that or whatever, you know, just pointing out some facts with a couple of receipts. So if you get a chance, go check that out. But um, yeah. So the reason why I named this upload the end of a united front is because I think that that's exactly what the fuck is going on here. We're watching it play out and we've reached a fork in the road where we're about to see people's true fucking feelings. Now, if y'all are being observant and you're really paying attention to what Jay Wilson is doing over there, there are a lot of subliminals being thrown on his end because I noticed the fact that he keeps referring to back to Tracy and her previous behavior in the past and that has something to do with the fact that he had to leave her alone but the shit that he's saying is not aligning with anyone except for one person you know he's been saying little shit like a lot of y'all gonna be looking stupid when y'all go to jail and y'all shouldn't be putting on people's personal information in their past and stuff. Y'all just going too far with this. You know, it's getting out of control. It's getting out of control. Well, who the fuck is doing all that except your girl? Who's doing it? You know, and the only thing about it is he's not man enough and don't have enough balls enough and don't want to lose that 11K and say the truth on how he really feels about shit. He knows that this shit is wrong. He know it ain't nothing right about it. He just can't say it because he doesn't want to risk it. And then not only that, we also have the whole panel situation where that's taken into effect. And we have outsiders giving their outside opinion about other outsiders coming inside and being on the panel. And he has that shit to deal with as well. And then we have the panel members who are eventually, unfortunately, going to start bumping heads as well because they not in a good place either. You know, how did y'all take that when someone says, I'm just a reoccurring guest? To me, that means this ain't my shit at any given time. I cannot be on that motherfucker and never come back on that motherfucker. And eventually, if y'all keep this stupid shit up, that's what's going to happen. And you know, honestly, this is just me speaking or whatever and just seeing what the fuck I see. When I look at Rebel and James and Jay Wilson, I could see the three of them vibing a little better without QB and... Um, El Teddy or whatever you know they just seem like they are in a different space than the other gentlemen are you know um I think that with Rebel and James and Jay Wilson being a little more seasoned that they are on here on some grown shit and then the other ones are a little more snappy they're a little more wild they're a little more out there you know and eventually that is going to cause them to clash you know, it's going to be where you have to slap them on the wrist, get them back in line and keep them on topic, you know, get the children. <laughs> and I also wanted to talk about this, too. This is a little piece of receipt that I swiped. I'm so sorry, Brianna. I swiped this from Brianna Simone earlier today, and I believe she said, don't quote me on it, that she saw it on Lipstick Alley. So this is Babe saying that Wiley had her cracking up, basically, with those fucking impersonations that he was doing over there. Now, if y'all been keeping up with Wiley, y'all know that he was over there doing those impersonations the other day, and he did a very descriptive, funny one of Jay Wilson. I mean, to a T, he did Jay Wilson, you know, and I guess she put on there that she was cracking up at the impersonations, but that was a little slight shade to me, because y'all know if the shoe was on the other foot, her sensitive ass would be like, oh, I'm about to pop you, mm, fake fake because that's kind of like what she did to duchess in my opinion he made a little slight joke she turned it into something that was really nothing you know and now here we go again the shoes on the other foot she's basically doing this shit to jay wilson what it was was it was a warning because i told y'all before she for anybody she always throws a little slight shade their way first to give them a little warning a little heads up i'm coming for you so, y'all, don't be surprised this week if y'all hear the real tea about what happened on this Labor Day event and some true and real feelings start coming the fuck out because that's what's going to happen. Just wait for it. 
And people are also wondering too, since ZT is back in the picture, and we know that ZT is one of the ones that will get on here and will read and drag your ass all day like it's nothing. It comes natural to him. So they're trying to figure out if she's basically going to be put in a position where she feels as though she's going to have to choose between QB and ZT, you know. And eventually we all know what's going to happen. One of them will end up being shaded. It's just a matter of which one it will be, you know, and quite frankly, I'm hoping that it's not QB only for the sake of <sighs> people have a lot of shit to say about QB, but one thing I can say about him is when he's with you, he's with you, you know, and it's not one of those situations where he was kind of shading her at first and then just wanted to jump on her coattail or whatever the case because she was you know doing good out here in these streets and whatnot I don't think that's the case I think that he really genuinely likes her and also the fact that ZT shaded the shit out of her before he even left still plays a factor you know so she might play the shit out his ass and be like oh, okay I'm gonna let you think it's sweet and I'm gonna let you think that it's good and we're all right but in the back of my mind I have not forgotten what you have done you know so We'll see, y'all. We'll see. But anyway, you guys, this upload is getting a little bit lengthy and longer than what I thought that it would be. But I do want to touch on one more topic before I get off of here. So yesterday, in my community feed, I shared Mimi checking these fake codes, my food thing. I put up her live and I shared it because I was so mad at myself. I was so mad at myself because normally I read between the lines and I will see the unseen. This is something that I didn't pay any attention to. So we all know that, uh, as I spoke about earlier, a little bit briefly. All right, good job, good job. You're very welcome. I, high five. Let's do it. All right, show what you cool. Hold on, fist bump too. All right, let's do it. Mm, 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 mm. You get some too. Hold on, I'm coming to you. One, two, three, go. All right, all right. Have a seat so daddy can hand you your food, okay? My bad, y'all. Duty calls. Had to help Mr. Ono with the kids. Y'all know how it goes down. But yeah, y'all, um, Mimi's live consisted of a situation, the situation, rather, that deals with Tracy and Joyce. And, um, it was a little red flag in the air, you know? And you may not feel the same way that Mimi feels at all, you know? And quite frankly, I understand why Joyce kind of put it into it you know a lot of people feel as though she was wrong for just abruptly ending the whole situation ship like that and she could have went about it differently you know but whew, I personally can speak from a perspective of someone who just gets tired of this shit once in a while you know and that's not to say that you're going to end it forever but I'm going to step away from this and I'm going to do some real content because I can I've been that person who has done that more than one time you know I get it I understand her perspective you know but also it gives you another viewpoint to look at through Tracy's eyes as well you know you got to see things from different angles sometimes you know so if you haven't seen it go check it out it's really good um, in conclusion, y'all, because I'm about to go in here and sit down with my family and have some food, but, um, I just want to say that whatever way you are feeling, feel that way because you feel it, you know, and when people are being doxxed and exposed Take and everything, care, you, you gone, They're boo? All right, y'all, last interruption and loss. <laughs> My bad, my bad. That's just how we get down on Sundays, but yeah, y'all. So like I was saying... When people are being doxxed, don't always believe what is being said because you don't know the full situation. The person that's telling to you doesn't even know what the hell is going on. They just think that they saw what they saw and it is what it seems, you know. And that's not always the case either, you know. Um, it just happened to Duchess, you know, not intentionally, but it happened, you know. And he basically explained his own story, told his own story, and he told us his truth. You know, whatever the case, we ain't got to live there. And we don't have to sleep with his hubby. We don't have to do what he doing. What they eat don't make us shit. You know what I'm saying? So when someone is being doxxed, don't be so quick to believe what you hear and everything. And if 
they're talking about people who are deceased or even parents or children. You know, just I try to have enough respect to give people boundaries and say, you know what, this is something that I'm not going to touch on. This is something that I'm not going to entertain because it's out of pocket, it's out of line, and it's wrong. You know, it kind of shocked the hell out of me. And as much as I hate to say this, fuck it, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Um, Last week, we had the situation where Rick got on here and people decided that they were going to call his mom and put her pictures out there and talk about her and everything like that. And um, he got pissed off and said he was getting up off of here before he really fucked some shit up. You know, nobody should be playing with his mother like that. You know, and then a lot of people were like, well, you kind of got what you put out there because you was fucking around people with mamas too. James' mother didn't ask to be on here, but you did it, you know. And QB's husband didn't ask to be on here. He's deceased, but there he is as well. You know what I mean? So you kind of reap what you sow in that aspect. And when I saw him put up a picture of ZT's mother yesterday and his sisters, I'm like, damn, here we go again, you know. Like, you don't want to taste that medicine. Don't try to feed that to nobody else. You know, you got to be careful what you do because it all comes back full circle. But anyway, you guys, um, to my new subscribers, I love y'all. appreciate y'all. My old ones, I love y'all. appreciate y'all as well. Um, y'all know that I've been going through, like, multiple deaths. I don't know what the fuck is going on this month. Mm -mm -mm. If I told you what was going on, you wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe it. Y'all talking about having a ceasefire on YouTube? We need to have one out here in the DMV. This shit is crazy. It really is. I'm not going to any more candlelight visuals. I don't want to go to any more funerals. It's just, it's too much, y'all. But um, I do appreciate you for your prayers and uplifting, sending that positive energy, positive vibes my way. Y'all hold your loved ones close. Try not to do no shit to nobody else that you wouldn't want done to you. And try not to break the boundaries. I will see you guys tomorrow soon. I'm excited about seeing y'all on the panel this week. I will be there. I had some shit going on last week. Like I told you, if I told you what was going on, you wouldn't believe me. You wouldn't believe me. But um, I love you guys. I appreciate you. And I'm going to see y'all later.